Hello everybody, this is I think my fourth day vlogging, maybe my fifth. I actually have lost track. Oh my god, my boobs hurt. Um, so my boobs don't hurt from breastfeeding, like breastfeeding doesn't hurt my boobs, but they hurt when they like, when I hear a baby cry, my baby cry, or if you talk about my baby too much, like they'll start to like tingle because they want to like feed him. Isn't that weird? The human body is so crazy. Like literally if I hear him cry, my boobs start to like tingle and kind of sting, like hurt. Because I feel like I need to feed him immediately. Really bizarre. Anyway, I don't know why I just told you that. I guess vlogging every day has made me just tell you way too much. Like last night when I vlogged when I was tipsy. Oh my God, I wonder if I even posted that. I haven't edited that vlog yet. I'm a mess, clearly. Eric and I are trying to go to the mall today. So my mom is being kind enough to watch the baby so that we can go to the mall. I need to get Rachel a birthday present. It's her birthday tomorrow. Um, and Eric needs to get something for an audition. I need new makeup. So we got some errands to run y'all and we're gonna try to bust it out really quickly. But wow, my outfit looks really dumb. Hmm. I just went to the mall and I got a bunch of stuff with Lynn. I'm gonna show you all the stuff I got. Oh my goodness, it's really cute. Baby clothes haul. Um, but I am so mad because I went into this one store. I've told this story like eight times by now, but I have to vent about it on here. I vented about it on my Instagram a little bit. Thank you, my hero. So I went to this one store, and you, if you guys know me at all, you know that like I'm super anti like boys have to wear blue, girls have to wear pink. Like Flynn has some pink clothes, pink blankets. Um, I mean, he mostly has blue and green and gray because that's all they sell for like boys, but I wish that it was all just any color, anyone could wear any color. I don't know why a color makes you a boy or a girl, but whatever. Anyway, I've gotten kind of like over that. I just have accepted that like, that's how clothes are for kids. Like I'm hoping that they'll make changes. I have started to see like some sparkles on boy clothes, like sequins. I've seen like some pink boy clothes, which is like progress. I've seen more like, you know, um, typically, stereotypically like masculine things on girl clothes. Like, so I've seen some changes in some stores, um, which is great it's a slow process like eventually it will change and like colors will just be colors and you can like whatever color you want regardless of your gender um but i went into this store today and it made me so freaking angry i went in looking for clothes for flynn and noticed that all the clothes in there i think it was the children's place i'm trying to remember the name of the store because like it made me so mad i kind of want to call them out but all of the clothes had phrases on them and all of the phrases for the boys were like troublemaker, I break the rules, I'm a disaster, a tornado, big personality, like bratty, like basically saying like it's cool to be a brat. Like all the shirts for boys essentially were saying like I'm an out of control child and like I'm proud of it because it's on my shirt. Like proud of being like an out of control, total brat train wreck. And all of the girl clothes, I'm not kidding you, Every single shirt for girl in there had something to do with looks. Beautiful, angel, princess, really cute, to-do list, be cute, love mommy. Like not, none of the girl clothes had anything to do with like being an empowered, strong female. And none of the boy clothes had to do with being a strong, empowered male. It was boys are out of control brat like breaking the rules and girls have to be pretty and it's crazy to me that like from birth we are teaching children that's how women and men are men can you know be out of control and like brats and break the rules and girls just have to look nice and it made me so mad like I was like shaking like why aren't the clothes telling children like to be, and I'm not saying like boy clothes should say princess and have pink sparkles, and I'm not saying girl clothes should have like, I'm like girl clothes shouldn't say like I'm a brat who breaks the rules either. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like all kids' clothes should inspire and promote children to be good humans. And neither one of those are doing that. Like, yes, it's fine to like want to be pretty and look cute and like say that on a shirt. And it's fine every once in a while I have a shirt that's like, I'm out of control, like whatever. But like the fact that every shirt in there for girls was about looks and every shirt in there for boys was about boys being out of control and breaking the rules. Why are we putting this in kids' heads from birth? Like, it made me so angry. Like it made me so angry. Like I was like, it's like, it's no wonder that like, 
there is so much sexism in the world. It, we're teaching it to children from birth. Like we're teaching kids, putting it on, making them wear it, saying like, boys can't control themselves and that's okay because boys will be boys and girls just worry about looking cute. Like, <gasps> I was so mad, I was so mad. And I like, poor Eric had to listen to me vent about it at lunch and he was, he was agreeing with me because he's the coolest ever, but like, not that that makes you cool if you agree with me, but just like his opinions uh, match up with mine on that topic shocking and I was really mad but I did get Flynn some cute clothes at Old Navy wait was that where I was at no gap baby gap so I'm gonna show you the cute clothes that I got him that don't have phrases on them that tell him he's allowed to be a brat who breaks the rules um, I got him socks because his toesies are always cold Eric at H&M got him this little hat for when we go in the pool and we go swimming he also got him these cute little shorts um, which is super cute. And then I got him a bunch of stuff because he grows so much, he's getting so big. But I love little like rompers for boys, like one pieces for boys I think are really cute. And one thing I am really sad about that they don't make for boys is like, girls get ruffle butts. Like little girls have like outfits, like onesies and stuff with like, poofy butts like and it doesn't have to have like ruffles but like poofy butts i don't know why like the poofy butt around the diaper is so cute to me and i wish they had it for boys um but anyway <laughs> this is something i got him because it's gonna be summer soon it gets really hot in la so i was trying to get him a bunch of like short sleeve stuff i got him this little dinosaur uh hatching out of an egg Wendy, this one's really cute i love this it's like little overalls with little buttons and stripes and a little pocket. I think this one's really cute. Like, I can't wait to see him in that. This is more dinosaurs hatching out of eggs. And this one's like pajamas. Um, this one. It's more There's a lot of dinosaur stuff, which I appreciate because we do a lot of dinosaurs with Flynn. He is, his whole room is themed with dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. I got him these swim shorts. Look how cute these are, love. And I think this is really cute. Oh my god, look at this. That's cute. Purse. What? Purse. I love rompers. Look at this one. Shark. Love, look, Sharknado. Baby shark. Baby shark. This one, super cute. Uh oh, baby crying. This one is really cute. Look at this. It's like a hoodie. So yeah, Baby Gap had a huge sale. Everything was like 40% off. So I want bananas. Oh, and the best part. Rainbow sunglasses are you kidding me get out of town. That's really cute. Anyway, that's the tea on baby clothes I'm really mad <laughs> um, That boy clothes all you can get is I mean here. I tried my hardest to get stuff that wasn't just The most boy but look it's all blue and gray like that's those are the colors boys are allowed to wear It's crazy. Why can't boys wear purple? Why can't they wear pink? Why can't they wear any color? What and why can't girls have racing cars or exactly, dinosaurs? Exactly, exactly. Well, and we were talking about that too at lunch. Too. Like Eric brought up a good point at lunch. He was like, how come if a girl likes, you know, doesn't like the feminine stuff, but wants to wear the stereotypical boy stuff, she's called a tomboy. It's not just called like, a, you can't just be a girl mm -hmm. who likes not the most feminine things like you automatically are labeled like a boy like a tomboy like boys like trucks and cars and dinosaurs and sharks and blue and green and gray blue green and gray and girls like pink and purple and sparkles and that's just what we teach kids from literally birth that's what we teach them but i don't, I don't know what i'm saying like i want to dress up my kid in like dresses like i would do that too but like i'm not trying to like dress him only in girl clothes, but like it'd be nice if he could have a color in his wardrobe that's not blue or green. Like, what about purple? What about pink? What about anything else? How about a pastel? How about a, a, a neon color? Huh? Anyway, that's the tea. Oh my gosh, I just tried to film a video. Are you laughing at me? laughing at me? Are you laughing at me, you goose? Are you laughing at me? So he, he was in the video with me, but he just kept crying. He didn't want to do it. So we had to stop because I don't let my little monkey cry. Do I? You're not allowed to cry. 
no crying unless he needs to express his emotions and feelings that's totally fine but babies when they cry they're trying to tell you something they're trying to tell you they're hungry or they're tired or they want to do something else and they're bored so um don't worry i will always let him cry and express his emotions as he gets older but as a little baby i don't want him to cry i want him to be happy so huh pumpkin oh you're cute and you're tired you need a nap look at his eyes oh he's sleepy okay nap time that time floaty floaty you like to float oh you sit up in the bathtub he's so cute <laughs> if y'all know me at all you know i love me some applesauce um so again i feel like i didn't vlog much oh is anyone watching these so, I'm having a hard time getting videos done. I mean, obviously I'm busting out vlogs, which I'm stoked on. But I have all these ideas for all these ideas, Miranda videos. I just can't seem to like get them filmed. It's like really hard to find time where like the baby is calm and quiet and I can go and like turn into Miranda and then un-Miranda myself in between meetings and like random stuff to have to do throughout the day, like new errands that I have to do as a new mom. It's just hard, I'm so, I know I'm like complaining about like things that like aren't that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. It's just, it's been hard trying to figure out how to get back into the swing of doing my YouTube job. And like, I'm obviously busting out vlogs, which is great. And I posted a main channel video this week, but only one and I had plans on doing two Miranda and two main channel and I only did one main channel so ugh. Um, I'll try again next week we'll see what happens but I'm a little disappointed in myself right now I'm gonna go to bed I'm gonna shower I'm gonna pump I'm gonna go to bed and if I have enough energy after my shower it'll be around midnight and maybe if I have energy I'll film a Miranda video but I doubt it anyway right, I'm going to bed uh, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.